Today is Friday, December 18th, and welcome to your BusinessStreetOnline.com weekly webcast. Coming to you from the top of the historic Security Bank building in downtown Fresno, known as the 1060 Fulton Building. I'm your host, Lance Cardoza, and here's a recap of this week in business on BusinessStreetOnline.com. Electronic Recyclers International and LS Nico form a partnership. Next, Senior Softball Championships are arriving in Fresno in 2011. Three local organizations partner for a big turkey giveaway this Saturday. We highlight this week's business leader, Kathy Bray of Denham Resources, and the proposed stadium lease between the city of Fresno and the Fresno Grizzlies has been approved. Welcome to 1060 Fulton and the Lofts, offering you luxury loft living in the heart of downtown Fresno. This is a magnificent, warm place to stay. All the amenities of a luxury apartment, Beautiful kitchen, bathroom, and the views, wow, <laughs> magnificent. Your personalized tour may be scheduled by calling 559-495-1442. We hope you can come visit us soon. Fresno-based Electronic Recyclers International and LS Nico Copper of Korea, one of the world's biggest copper smelters, have come to an agreement. ERI's commodities now have a guaranteed home and LS Nico has obtained a minority investment position in ERI. And we're really so excited about LS Nico investing now into Electronic Recyclers International. By doing this, it substantiates the fact that ERI is truly the recycling leader of electronics across the United States. And that to us, after five years of growing this company, is really an honor and a very humbling experience. LS Nico, which is really represents three of the greatest brands in the world. First you have the LS brand. The LS brand is a publicly traded company in Korea. You have the Nico brand, which is one of the greatest brands in Japan, which is the world's second largest economy. And you actually also have the Ku family, who are the founders of LG Electronics. It's somewhat akin to like saying Warren Buffett has just invested in your in your company in the United States. LS Nico had the foresight and the vision to understand that the world's resources are so limited. They own the lar second largest copper smelter in the world which is in Korea. And so they are now ensuring their feedstock by investing in us and getting back the copper from us in the United States into their smelters, which is great for the environment and also great for their company and great for ERI. The largest copper mining company in the world is down in Chile. It's called Codelco. And they have access to the ore mines that exist. The ore mines are part of the world's resources and they're starting, they're very limited in every category, both ferrous and non-ferrous. Urban mining is truly the future of mining in the world. Urban mining is above ground mining, like what we do. It's making sure products that shouldn't be going into landfills are being demanufactured appropriately and then going to great smelters around the world so it can be reused again. And reuse is one of the keys of recycling. That's number one. Besides being the largest electronic waste recycler in the United States, ERI is truly one of the largest urban mining companies in the world. We have seven locations now, and we intend to build three to five more locations across the United States and add technology into them everywhere we are. As you well know, ERI is already the brand leader in electronic waste recycling in the United States. We have the largest electronic waste recycling shredder in the world. We're going to build more of those across the United States and we're also going to look at some innovative glass technologies and also plastic technologies with this investment. The Senior Softball USA Regional Championships are scheduled to take place in Fresno in 2011. Fresno Convention and Visitors Bureau CEO Jeff Eben said a thousand room nights will be used because of the event and a local economic impact is expected to be $420,000. Three local organizations are bringing holiday cheer to a part of Fresno. 
The Golden West Side Planning Committee and TFS Investments and the Central California Baseball Academy are teaming to give away 500 turkeys at the West Fresno Hinton Center on Saturday. The turkeys will be given to those meet, that meet certain requirements. They may be picked up at the Hinton Center between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. on Saturday, and information may be found by dialing 559-488-4411. This week's Business Leader of the Week is Kathy Bray, President of Denim Resources. To read Bray's complete story and her involvement with Denim Resources and the community, visit businessstreetonline.com, scroll to the middle of the page, and click on Business Leaders. After much deliberation, the Fresno City Council voted 6 to 1 Thursday evening to approve the proposed lease between the city and the Fresno Baseball Club, which owns the Fresno Grizzlies. After the meeting, Chris Cummings, partner of the Fresno Baseball Club, was able to breathe a sigh of relief. And I can tell you honestly, the easy vote today is a no vote. Nobody's going to, we're going to get criticized no matter what we do. But the right vote today is a yes vote. That's a responsible vote. It doesn't seem like, nobody's going to be happy giving away $700,000, but I honestly believe this negotiating team did a good job. I think the council has done a great job. I'm very grateful. I think the council was extremely diligent in the process they went through to reach this point, and I'm grateful for all of the work that they went through and also for the result. Uh, there have been a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of nights when uh, I've been on the internet at 2 o'clock in the morning trying to uh, get paperwork ready for the city. The, the process has been extremely uh, time-consuming and it's been extremely difficult. And, uh, of, all, of all things, between Council Member Brand, uh, the Mayor, and uh, in particular Dan Barrett, uh, I, can't, I couldn't have asked for a better team to be working with. They were very patient and uh, I appreciate everything that they did. It was over $900,000, but, but who was, who's counting? You know? Uh, I, I'm sure, you know, I, without, I don't think with, without that payment, I don't think we would, have, uh, we would have been here tonight with a successful vote. Uh, but our partnership and our partners are committed to Fresno, they're committed to the team, and we're looking forward to a great start of the season next April 16th, and we look forward to having everybody there. It, this is a big step. I mean, uh, I shudder to think how our, um, our vision for downtown would have been shuttered if we didn't have a stadium that's full and, and vibrant. So um, uh, we've counted on the stadium. It's been operating for the last number of years. It's, it's sort of one of the, the things we expect to have going. If we had to make up for the fact that the stadium could potentially have been shuttered, um, that would have been a big setback for downtown. Thank you for joining us on this week's BusinessStreetOnline.com weekly webcast. Business Street hopes all of its viewers and readers have a happy holiday season and a prosperous new year.